My name is Jeff Fernandez, and I believe that to keep up with today's wired world, we need to rewire the way we learn. There are 200 million digital workers, and only one in 10 feel comfortable with the technology that they need to use every day to be successful at their jobs. That's a huge problem, given the digital economy in which we live. So why is better learning the answer? Technology is changing more quickly than ever before. It's changing the way we work. It's changing the way we think. It's changing, potentially most importantly, the way we live our day-to-day -day lives. Back when I graduated college in 2005, we had flip phones. Very few people had Gmail. <laughs> and more people had MySpace than Facebook. Fast forward now to 2015. I hear a phone ringing. How many of you have checked your email in the last minute and a half <laughs> since I stepped on stage? It's okay, I don't take it personally, it's fine, it's important. But what's really scary is that the average digital worker checks his or her email 30 to 40 times every hour when they're on the job. And that comes at the expense of potentially doing some really substantive work. Instead, you're checking your phone, you're checking your email. Goldfish, they have a 12 second attention span. <laughs> Human beings, despite our having frontal lobes and cognition, in 2015, our attention spans are eight seconds. That's real, eight seconds. That's great. It's, it's, it's terrifying, right? So what's the impact of not remembering the answer to a question a few seconds before? It's quite large. You think all this technology makes you happier, smarter, more productive, but instead what it's created is this enormous digital skills gap. And the gap is the difference between the skills that you have and the skills that you don't have. And according to McKinsey, the digital skills gap is responsible for $1.3 trillion lost every year in productivity in the United States alone. It's a huge problem. So I think the question becomes, well, who's impacted? Actually, it's every person in the room. Every digital worker loses two hours a day of productivity. When you're searching on Google for an answer, you don't know what it is. When you don't know how to manipulate a new tool that your company's asked you to use. What makes it even worse, you might think it's not you, digital skills have a two and a half year half-life. So that means a couple of years ago, if you knew how to use Google Apps, you don't know how to use it now. I think what makes this even more important for us to become very proactive and solve now is that the digital skills gap impacts those who are less well off much more so. And many of us in the room are fortunate enough to pay $50 for a ticket to join us today and thank you for that. But there are 8 million jobs right now in the United States that do not require a college degree and they pay above the living wage. Six million of them require digital skills. So if you can't manipulate that Excel document, if you can't manipulate Microsoft Word or Google Apps, you can't get those jobs. And that's frightening, that millions of people are locked out of the digital economy here at home. We noticed this back in 2010 and became extraordinarily inspired with the idea of solving this digital skills gap. I was with my two friends, Sarag Mungekar and Nick Narodny. And we were at a restaurant called Lily's in Union Square. And we got a text message from one of our friends. 
Naturally, we picked it up during dinner. And our friend asked us, how do you connect your Google Analytics to your WordPress? And it was in that moment we said, wow, we're getting questions like this from everybody we know. From our moms, dads, aunts, and uncles, to the people we work with every day, and even our younger siblings who are in college. So I think we need to rewire the way that we learn. And it starts with micro-learning, very short packets of information, bursts. Only 60 seconds. Because frankly, you're not going to pay attention. And it has to be on demand. It needs to be everywhere you go, easily accessible. So given how important this is, how can every person here help themselves, help the people they love, and help the organizations at which you work? Well, first and foremost, identify where this, the gap exists for yourself, for your loved ones, and your organization. Then number two is search and select. Just go to Google. Run a search. You're going to find five or ten learning and training providers that will be able to help you. And finally, just make a commitment of five, maybe ten minutes a day to learn something new, to brush up on your digital skills. Because that's the wave of the future. That's where all of our jobs are moving. And if we don't do it now, we're going to get left behind. Thank you.